Good morning. I'm just here because I was getting ready to design um, a habit tracker. Um, someone had requested something similar to this. That's why I'm sharing my Pinterest screen because a little while ago, someone had requested something like this, like a, I don't know what to call it, like a wheel, like a wheel that you can use to um, track, like habit trackers, something like that. So I just quickly went, they have sent a picture, but I lost it. So I quickly went to Pinterest and try, I, I literally put gold wheels um, and this came up. And this is definitely what that person had shared with me that they wanted to see. I have never created one. So I thought, hey, why not go live and try to design something I've never done before? <laughs> what could go wrong? So yeah, while rocking my bun, which is higher than ever because I don't want to do my hair today. But yeah, I'm going to try to go on Canva and design one of these. See these let me see this on Etsy. So someone is selling something similar on Etsy. And again, I've never created one. I'm just taking a look. See something like this. This is cute. This is cute. This person is very talented. I like this. Um, similar to this is what I had in mind. Let me see what else they have. This is really, oh, look at this one. That's cute. I don't even know. I, this looks hard to design. So anyway, I will be emailing the link to this video um, so you guys can see it and have access to it. But I'll be hanging out here for a little while. So let me and just keep this. I won't be looking back to Pinterest because I don't want to copy any of these I just wanted to keep an image in my head and kind of go off of what what it looks like in my head so that's what I'm going to be doing okay so let's go ahead and let me move this first create a design and I'm going to do US letter size And I'm going to name it. Oh, and by the way, this is going to be in the members area. I'm going to be um, adding this to the members area of the, let me go to teachery. I will put it here, like probably in the, not the bonus section, because it's not going to be a bonus, but it'll probably be um, in the download the templates section. I'll add a link probably here to the side. I'll add links to all of the new templates that I'm going to be adding because I did send an email. Um, was it last week? That I will be adding new templates um, and making some changes to the videos as well. So yeah, that'll be there. So that's what I'm doing today. I'm trying just to design something similar for you. Those of you jumping in, I'm going to try to design um, a wheel, like a goal habit tracker wheel situation, kind of like this that someone had requested. So that's what I'm attempting to do. So for that, I need a shape. I need a circle. Let's start with that. And I'm going to make it black. Um, I'm going to make it very small because I want it very thin, kind of like this, very thin. Oh, but Canva's not going to let me make it any bigger, so I'm going to have to come up with some ideas. Okay, so let me try something else. I wonder if this one will work. And then this, make that black. No, it's not gonna let me either. So I'm gonna have to get a regular one. It's gonna be harder than I thought. Okay, let's just get a regular one. Let's make this black. Let's duplicate it. I'll make it white. 
and I'm gonna make it a little bit smaller. Select both, position, center and middle. Let's see, it needs to be, this white one needs to be a little bit bigger. Okay, select both, position, center and middle. Okay, so that's looking better. We're going to group it and make it about that big just for now. This white one that we see on group. I want that line to be thinner. So let's make that white one a little bit thinner. Okay, I think that's looking better. Hopefully this will work out group. Okay, let's go ahead and duplicate that. Make it a little bit smaller. Um, probably just a bit smaller and okay that's looking better now i'm going to take that one duplicate it i wish it would be easier to measure things in canva that would make my life a lot easier. And at this point, I'm just duplicating. And I know there's grids, it's somewhere here. Um, rulers, and it'll give you the rulers at the top and then show guides. I don't wanna use the guides, let me just. And there's margins as well for printing. Um, I don't use any of that. Um, I've started to use the rulers. That's what I just put here. But, oh, Julie, um, I'm making, let me show you real quick. Um, someone a while ago had requested um, like a, I don't know what to call it, like a habit or goal tracker. That's kind of like a wheel. And I hope I'm using the right word. But I went to Pinterest and I literally put goal wheels and this popped up. And this reminded me of what that person had requested. I lost um, the picture that they sent me. Um, so this is kind of what I'm trying to create something very similar to this. And I've never designed one before. So, you know, let's hop on alive and let's try to, um, make something you've never done before. So that's what I'm trying to do. Um, hoping for the best here. I'm trying to design it live kind of to force myself to do it because I've been procrastinating on making this particular design and also because I need to add it to the members area. And I'm gonna have to fix the sizing of these. Let me see this, we have four, one, two, three, four. Um, I don't know. Let me do another one. I probably want seven, like one per day of the week, like one ring per each day of the week. I think that's what I'm going for. Um, okay. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then we add another one, duplicate. There we go. A little bit smaller. It's hard to do in Canva. Okay. Now let me see. Let me get a lot closer. Let's do 200. I think this is okay okay so see this one's a little bit bigger this is my way of measuring inside of canva since i can't really do it <laughs> it's not the best way okay about like that and these are definitely bigger more spacious so what i'm going to do this outer one i'm going to make it a tiny bit bigger and 
I wonder what would happen. Let me go back to 100. What would happen if I select everything? No, not ungroup. Let me group it together. Okay, actually. If I select it all, position, center, and middle. Awesome. Now everything is lined up correctly. That's looking good. Let me see. This is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay. And they are about the same size. It's very hard to make things line up correctly in Canva. Okay. I think that'll be fine. I think it'll be fine. What I don't like is, of course, when you make um, the shapes smaller, they're always going to be, the lines are always going to be thinner. So when you look at it, it has like this, <laughs> like an effect, like you're looking into it. See, like, like, like it's a, what's the word I'm looking for? Not a, a maze. That's just not what it is. It's not a maze. I'm going to click the letter L in my keyboard to get a line. This is black. I'm going to put it over here. And I'm going to try to make it about a stick. As, let me get a lot closer. About a stick as the outer line. Maybe a little bit thinner. Okay. I'm going to rotate it. About like that. And now the hard part starts because I want to make let me see kind of like this let me duplicate that line This is kind of what I want to make. This might take forever. I don't know if that's going to look good. Let me see what people use it for the most. Mm -hmm. Okay, so kind of like areas in their life. So it doesn't have to be like a daily one. I'm liking the idea of having like different areas of focus. And this one I like... This is an Etsy listing. I like also what I would use it for. I'm looking at this um, with some space at the bottom where you can add your own, um, what you wanna use it for. I like the idea of that. So I think that's what I want to create. See another one here this one kind of has that same design of only a few areas because someone could possibly see oh, on this one. See, now that I look closer, I'm noticing the same idea um, repeat itself and it, it actually makes sense. So that I think that's what I'm going to do instead of, see, because this is a daily one, this one that we had seen before. This is a daily one and it's beautiful, but I think it's gonna take forever. Um, okay, so let's do that. Let's keep it to only a few areas. Let me do 180, 180, keep it here in the center. Let me get closer because we need to make this line shorter. I decided I'm gonna keep them right there. Okay, and then let's duplicate that one and put it over here. Are they lined up correctly? Oh yeah, okay, that's lined up correctly. Then we're gonna grab another one and we're gonna put it right here. They are lined up correctly, there we go. Okay, so now we have four spaces. I want to add Probably 
Let's take this one, put it like right in the center, like this. Let's rotate. I think it needs to be moved a little bit more. No, it needs to be rotated a little bit. Is what it needs to be. There, I don't know. Right there. Yep, perfect. So let's select it. Let's duplicate that one. Put it here. Is it lining up? Almost. Almost. Yep, it's lining up. So now let's duplicate this one. Put it about in the center right there. We need to rotate. We can rotate again. And about right there. Almost, we'll see. Let me finish it and we'll see we need to rotate or move elements a little bit more. See, I think we're gonna have to rotate a little bit. Mm. These two are lining up. It looks like they're lining up. If I extend this one, yeah, no, it needs to be, this one needs to be moved a bit. Okay. I think that's good. It's looking good. Yep, 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 yep. Okay, now let me take a look at the center. This, I'm going to bring it to the front. So it sits on top of the lines. There we go. It's looking good. I'm happy. <laughs> I'm happy it's the first time I'm trying to do this. But I am happy and I wonder, hmm. I could leave that one the way it is. Then let me duplicate this. Let me make this a little bit smaller so I can see it. Bring this all the way to the top. And remember, look, I'm just, I've selected everything. And if I make it smaller, see, it still looks just fine. If you wanted to make like a little, just like a little um, addition, like make it smaller like this and put it in a little corner and you can like color in. It just depends on what you want to use it for and it keeps its shape. So it's good to know that you can go ahead and just play around with it. and add it to something else that you are doing. What I'm trying to think is, could I possibly, hmm, like I'm trying to find a shape that'll let me kind of block a section. Well, let's, let's see. I didn't want to do it this way, but I feel like this is all I can think of right now. It's kind of trying to fit this here and rotate it so it's parallel to the lines. Kind of like that. It kind of start blocking off sections because I don't think I can do it any other way. I'm going to try it like I'm I'm going to try a little bit later and do that. See if I can block it off using um, a square and just doing that, just kind of. Okay, trying to do that. And I'm going to have to make it a lot closer. Trying to block the line. There we go. I need to rotate it a bit. Awesome. Okay. Okay. 
duplicate this and do the same thing on the other side. We're going to have to rotate a bit. If you know a better way, whatever shape that I can use, please let me know. I'm going to have to think this through. I didn't think this through. I knew going live, trying to do something for the first time was not a great idea. But, you know, it's working. It's working. I'm going to have to find a better way to do it. But so far, I think we're good. And what I'm going to have to do is bring this line position to front so it sits on top of the shape to front. There we go. And then this one, again, position to front and everything is sitting on top of the shapes. Let me go back and yeah, that's what I wanted to do. Yeah, it was a little bit more difficult than I wanted, but at least you cannot see um, those shapes. And we can make this sideways kind of like that. And you have that whole section blocked off. Let's group that awesome. See, and it's looking better. And this is just like another option in the center. You can put words in the center, but I was thinking um, like it depends what you're using it for, but I would put like a cute little something. Oh, this is so cute. <laughs> like a cute little something in the center that kind of matches the theme of what is that you are tracking. Um, this is so cool. I love that. Um, let me see. Let's do moon and let's see what comes up. That's beautiful. Yeah, but you can barely see it. This too, that's pretty. And just put like a little piece of clip art in the center that matches what it is that you're using this for or the theme of your planner or, you know, your business. Flowers. Then you can, you know, decorate any way you want to. What I would do here, I would probably put a line and kind of make it a list. Actually, no, let me, let me just grab one of those lines and duplicate it just to make sure everything is the same thickness and rotate it to make it 100. So I would make, let me get closer. We'll make this a little bit longer, probably right there. And let's go ahead and duplicate again. Put it here because this could be like a guide or to write down what it is that you are trying to track with this. How many spaces? One, two, three, four, five, six. So we're going to do six lines to match the number of spaces that you have. We have one, two, three, four, five, and this would be six. Okay. I'm selecting the lines by holding down the shift key and clicking on them, position um, vertically to make sure they're like this. And let's grab a check mark. And we can do. Where's the circle one? This one. A lot smaller. A little check mark that we can put right here. It could be anything. It's just really a placeholder. You you decide what matches your theme and your purpose for creating something like this. It wasn't that hard. I'm glad I decided to do it live. It wasn't that hard. I'm still going to, under perfect line, okay. I'm still going to clean it up a little bit. 
after I hop off this live. Oh, that looks cute though. That looks really cute. Let me remove this. This was just an idea that I was trying to give you. Um, but in the center, you can do whatever you want. Um, I'm glad I decided to do this. There we go. Awesome. And you know, you can put like boxes here at the bottom. Let me see how well this resize if we decided to make it smaller. See, we can even make it that small. I'm gonna put it in the corner with like a daily layout, like one of those daily layouts that we have. Let's try that. Let's go, let me go to folders. Let's go here. Let's go here. Let me grab one of the dailies. Mm. Uh, let, let's grab just this one and let's remove this box from the bottom and I can grab this copy paste bring it down here maybe a little bit smaller but I could even yeah like I could even just put it here and make it part of that. I could even remove the lines and just add this. So let me grab this. I'm going to copy that whole thing. I'm going to put it here, paste, grab it and kind of resize to make it fit. And you could have something like this. It could be like a daily tracker of something whatever you can think of. <laughs> I can't think of anything right now, but like a daily tracker of something. And that could be really, really cute. That's how I would incorporate it. Um, even on the weeklies, that could go in there. Um, yep, let me delete this page. I don't need that, make this bigger. So I'm going to add this. To the members area so if you want to go grab it you can do so okay and let me duplicate this page because i want to include one that doesn't have the lines just for whoever did not want the lines and just wants to decide what they want to do. There we go. Awesome. So I'm going to hop off. I don't see any more questions. Um, but if you have any questions, just leave them right here. Um, on the video, I'm going to be hanging out on here for a little bit because I have a lot to do today. So oh, look at that. We have three new pages. Um, so any questions, let me know. Um, allow me like, I don't know, five minutes and it'll be here when you go to the members area go to where it says download the templates and it'll probably be here like either on the side or i'll put a, a little something um so i can start adding all of those new designs on there because there, there's a lot more new designs that i want to add eventually this product is going to be um 37 or 47 dollars probably more yeah like 47 dollars but i want to make a few changes before i do that so i hope you have a wonderful rest of the day thank you for hanging out i know a lot of people have been you know hopping in and off thank you for hanging out i'm going to send an email with a link to this to this video and um an announcement so everyone can go download and play around if you play around with this and um you create something um post a screenshot or, you know, send it to me or tag me, whatever you want to do. I would love to see it. Um, I'm excited to see how, how we can use this um, to add it to our planners. So thank you for being here and have a wonderful rest of, oh my God, Thursday, th Thursday already. A wonderful rest of your Thursday.